there that he just ran underneath, but now he's, uh, and I can't even tell, it looks like he might be barefoot. I'm not 100% sure there. But we do have, uh, we've had a bailout after a police chase across Alligator Alley here, ending up in the area of Miramar Parkway. Let's just see where he ends up here. We'll keep focus right there. He's right in here, right in there. Coming out on this side, there's the troopers. He's going to, looks like he's going to give himself up right there. Police officers, we, those are uh, Miramar. Those are Miramar, I believe those are Miramar officers there at gunpoint right there. They're taking him into custody. He's complying with police orders to, uh, to lay down and put his hands behind his back, and they are taking him into cu uh, custody right now. So a police chase has started in Fort Myers, comes across the alley from what we understand, Florida Highway Patrol following that vehicle, high rate of speed up to 105 miles an hour at one point, and you saw the end of it here on uh, Channel 7. That's our story here at Skyforce. Back to you guys. All right, Ralph, and as you take a look at this, they are taking that suspect into custody. Just to quickly recap all of this, what we are seeing right here, this is a, uh, a an extensive police chase that started over in Fort Myers in southwest Florida in Lee County, traveled across Alligator Alley on I-75 in what we are being told was a stolen white pickup truck, a Ford F-150. That vehicle then going all the way through Broward County, getting close to Miami-Dade County, and uh, then traveling off of I-75 where you saw that suspect go right across the, uh, the, the midway there and then leave the interstate. Eventually, the suspect was able to uh, leave the car. That is after we watched one of the Florida Highway Patrol troopers that had been following closely behind. He executed what appeared to be those pit maneuvers that we've spoken to you about before in past chases, and that spun the uh, truck out onto the side. That is when that uh, person jumped out of the truck and started running from that trooper. The trooper very quickly getting out behind him here. And if you look here on the left-hand part of your screen, you can see that the, um, you can see this is where uh, that, that suspect is going to jump out. Quick police chase ensued, and that is the ending right there on the right-hand part of your screen with Miramar officers taking him into custody after he uh, gave up. We'll have much more on this on 7 News First at 4 in just a couple of moments. For now, I'm Joe Rose live at the news desk.
across from Fort Myers here. That's where the police took the subject in custody. Those were Florida Highway Patrol and some, I believe they were mirror the and some, I believe there were Miramar PD folks that uh, in the, that black and white cruiser on the right-hand side of your screen. The vehicle itself is up here about, uh, I don't know, 300 yards or so as it, after it came off of I-95. You can see there, that's the white pickup truck. Let's go ahead and look at our first piece of video. We've got four video clips. We're going to show you the first one there. And that is the vehicle being pursued down I-95 at, at points, uh, I'm sorry, I-75, of course, and at, uh, south uh, around the area of Griffin Road, speeds of 105 miles an hour, inside lanes, outside lanes, breakdown lanes uh, very very dangerous for everybody including uh, uh, people uh, using this road uh, er, that use this road every day to get uh, to and from home uh, the vehicle then uh, uh uh, swerved off of the roadway there and took one of the breakdown lanes and, and exits and came here to the area of Miramar. Uh, the vehicle was then, uh, uh, there was a pit maneuver performed by a Florida High Patrol officer. That, that maneuver spins the car around. When that happened, the driver uh, bailed out of that vehicle. So we're going to be looking at that, ve uh, that uh, the bailout there of that vehicle. And, and uh, well, when that happened, uh, the driver uh, uh, climbed over a fence. The trooper uh, that was following jumped out of his vehicle, followed him over the fence. Uh, on the radio that's uh, clipped to his shoulder at the same time yelling instructions and having a, uh, an aviation unit from Broward Sheriff's Office up gu guiding all the other police officers including Miramar and actually they had notified Dade County officials that this uh, chase might be going into Dade County. It never got that far south. We've got another uh, uh, slice of video there and you're going to be seeing this subject I believe being uh, taken into custody there uh, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, that's so he's being taken into custody there. Uh, he was barefoot at the time, ran through the, the bushes there and through the, uh, the through the scrub grass there along this area. Ended up in the area of Miramar Parkway and Dykes Road, which puts you just a little west of I-75. And I honestly, I can't remember what the fourth piece of video is, but we'll go ahead and take a look at that. And I'm kind of watching it along with you at home. Say again? Say again, Chris? Uh, we're back live. Okay, we're back live. So we're going to show you the vehicle. The chase that uh, came all the way across from Fort Myers uh, followed Florida Highway Patrol have their suspect or the subject in custody here at Dykes Road, Miramar Parkway. Uh, no injuries reported at this time and no accidents caused by this police chase. That's our story here in Skyforce HD. I'm Ralph Raven reporting live. Well, thank you. Now to our other top story. At least a dozen U.S. service members killed in Kabul during two bombings at and near the airport. Eleven Marines and a Navy medic among the dead. And officials warn the threat of more terror attacks remains high. 7's Joe Rhodes has the latest on this force. Joe.